what I like the most about getting to the trade shows and also to talk to, to the OEMs of the industry is that you get the opportunity to talk to experts, people that really know the details that most of us doesn't know because we have to know a little bit about a lot of things and then we have people that need to know a lot about few things, right? Paula, we spoke about your job as a little bit more into the future, right? How, I mean, how do you do that? Ooh. At HP, or better said, in large format, one of the things that we are putting great focus is on making sure that we have a customer-centric innovation model. So in my organization, we are making sure that this is happening. We are making sure that we are working on the right, pro and the right problems. We are making sure that we have multidisciplinary teams working on the right problems. We are making sure also that the teams are taking an agile approach into what they do. And we are making sure that we are starting to experiment, that we are starting to work with customers very early in the process, exposing them to things that we will do in the future and trying to gather insights from them very early. And I think that that speaks by itself because all the beauties that we see here, they are also, they are actually coming from that model. So are you telling me that often part of a development cycle is to bring, let's say, a, I would almost say a handheld prototype to a very few selected people in our market and see if that works? Yeah, actually, when if you have a look to live production, this is one of the software um, experiences that we are presenting here. This is actually a product that was even, I would say, co-created with customers. Very early in the process, we took few customers to whom we exposed to the prototypes, to whom we exposed to what we were doing, and we were gathering early feedback. But that doesn't finish at the moment that we release the product to the market. We make sure that we continue this relationship with customers, that we continue to nurture ourselves with the data that we capture and that we iterate. And you are seeing that actually many of the experiences that we bring here, they keep growing, they keep evolving. And we present how the different solutions that we have in the marketplace are evolving and bringing new things that add value to customers based on what they told us. Um. One of the things that I guess that you're interested in is of also, also let's say, make it trends, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the problem, with, I mean, make it trends is of course like universal trends that goes for all industries. But I guess that sometimes also some of the trends that you are working with, you can suddenly change, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens quite often. And actually at the moment, it's fun, but at the moment that the pandemia break out, we had to, to redo many of the things that we were doing, or actually we had to, make sure that we were working on the right problems. And that was a huge amount of work that we had to take in and we have to reinvent on how we were talking to customers, how we were gathering insights. We had to validate that all problems that we had identified were still valid because many things were changing. And uh, I was thinking, I mean, now you mentioned the pandemic, for example, as an, as an, as an example. Um, it, you've been working for HP for many years. Do you see HP as a very agile player that can easily adapt to market trends? I think we are doing, and we are on our way. I think that in in hardware, you are seeing that we are coming up with iterations of the solutions that we have in the marketplace. On the 2700, 2700 we are coming up with an option to move to 10 liter uh, cartridges, which we managed to do in a very agile way. Well. When it comes to, to the software solutions, we are also doing that. We are coming with a design and e-commerce solution to the marketplace, which is responding to a trend that we saw growing dramatically at the moment that we got the pandemic, which was that everyone is buying online. So we need to help our customers to pursue the journey and to make sure that they were moving online. When, uh, when you work in your position and, and, and basically try to understand the future needs, I guess that if you look at, I mean, all segments in the printing industry today, it is not just hardware, it's not just consumable, it is also substrates that you have not so much control over. And then it's also like the software part, it is the sustainability part, it is the energy control. I mean, there's so many things that it must sometimes be like almost impossible to keep track on everything, right? Indeed. This is all, for me, it's about the, the rigor of the methodology. We need to put customer in the center. We need to understand which is the entire customer journey. And we need to identify the pain points that they have along all that journey. And that triggers how we can add value in any of the layers that we have in the workflow. If this is service, if this is business model, if this is hardware, if this is software, substrates, inks, whatever. But it all starts by the customer. If you put the customer in the center and you analyze the entire workflow, you analyze the entire journey, 
it comes, uh, this is actually where magic comes, because you identify opportunities to work on, regardless of which is the vehicle. Mm. A little anecdote I need to share with you, I don't know if you're aware of this, but in 1951, at the very first Drupa, HP and Canon, side by side, independently, presented the first uh, world to, to the world the inkjet technology. And I was just wondering, since it's like a funny side by side story, do you still see also look at your competitors and say, oh, that was a good idea, or, or they saw something that was really smart, or how, how does that work? I think that we are in a very dynamic market, and of course, I think that we are all getting inspired from what others do. Yeah. And, but at the end of the day, we need to focus on ourselves. We need to make sure that the center of what we do is the customer. And if we do things for the customer, we'll make them right. And that, I guess, is a good ending, right? Yeah. Thank Thanks you. A lot. Thank you.